In this video, I'm going to show you how to launch clips or loops and samples from your Akai MPK-225 MIDI controller using the drum pads in Ableton Live. This is a question that I've received a few times, so I was happy to make a quick tutorial. We'll use the MIDI Learn or MIDI Map feature of Ableton Live to map the drum pads to individual clip slots. MIDI mapping is a feature most digital audio workstations have. So, so often you can map any arbitrary control from your MIDI controller to trigger a specific action. Here in Ableton Live, I have just pulled a few clips into two tracks, which I want to launch pushing the appropriate pad button. So what I do is I can click here on the MIDI icon. Alternatively, you can press Command M on a Mac or Control M on Windows, and this will highlight mappable user interface elements in Ableton Live. So here we see now that the clip slots are highlighted, and I click on the first one, and then push the first dr drum pad that I want to launch this clip with. And then we see that this MIDI, this particular MIDI mapping has been learned and it shows up on the left in our MIDI map list. I can continue and quickly map the other buttons as well. So this really doesn't take much time. And remember, on your MPK-225, you have four banks of eight pads for a total of 32 clips that you can launch. Once we're done mapping our pads, we exit the MIDI mapping mode by pressing Escape on the keyboard. And we can launch our clips with the, with the pads that we have just mapped. So. And we can go in sequence, in any arbitrary sequence, through the samples that we programmed. You may want to keep a file with your most useful MIDI maps and start off new projects of that so you don't have to repeat the procedure. If you found this video helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.